Welcome into a wonderful Friday. Hope you're all doing well. I am Dr. Bobby Gaines, aka Sweet Bobby, September 16th in the year of our Lord, 2022. The market is down 1.46%, but it's an inside day. Look at this, y'all. This really doesn't look, uh, you know, doesn't look bad at all. It's just, uh, just kind of a down day. And everybody is at Martha's Vineyard uh, helping out our little friends that got bust up there from the government. Governor of uh, Texas or Florida, whichever one sent them up there. So uh, apparently they're busy helping everybody because ain't nobody trained today. Uh, volume is, you know, 6,000 for every two minutes. Not a lot. Looks like our AD line, nowhere near the bottom of the day. So AD is negative 345, but it's doing what AD sometimes does on what we call range days. Not a trend day, but a range day. Cool, huh? So hello, pumpkin man. I like that. You know, I got a cousin that we call Pumpkin. Not Pumpkin, but Pumpkin. That's what I think of when I see your name. Oh, has, has that, have y'all ordered y'all's Trader Nerd t-shirts yet? Y'all, I'm fishing to show y'all something. Now, ladies, uh, don't let your husband around when you're seeing this because, I mean, I don't want to brag, but I'm quite an attractive man. Am I not, Beth? Will you say yes? Hello? Okay, best not seeing that. So, uh, check it out. Look at this, y'all. I mean, does it get any better than that? I'm so proud my shirt came in yesterday. Look, it looks good, right? Trade naked. It's a trader nerd fun. Anyway, I thought it was kind of good. All right. I think me and Ed's the only ones who ordered a t-shirt. So, and I'm going to get a cap and a coffee mug too. And I want like a sweatshirt. I want all that kind of stuff. It just looks good, right? Uh, So, uh, what was I saying? So, markets does what markets do. They move. Beth, how come you didn't answer me when I said, am I hot? Beth, I heard her blow her nose. I know she's in here. All right, so mark it down. Uh, let's see where we were. Oh, this is interesting. So we went from uh, fair value to oversold. And remember yesterday, we were overbought for the fair value zone below us. And remember, what did I say yesterday? I said, this is bearish. This is bearish because we're overbought for the fair value zone below it. So you know, two things. If it doesn't go up, it could go down. It could always go back to the point of control, but this is now fairly priced. So we're in the new fair price zone. And if I'm looking at price targets, I'm looking at 37.65. Yeah, that's a big move, right? 37.65. So we're fairly priced. So I would say 37.65 to a high of 39.71. Again, that is a big old range, but that just basically would be where our probability zone would be for the next 10 days, right? Within those two ranges. So if you're doing strangles or straddles or whatever, and that's how I would use that to help make my decision. Of course, we're not doing that. Some of you may do, and that's fine. All right, so with that, let's look at our, what do you say, linear regression. Linear regression looks, uh, yeah, it's just incredible, y'all. Our linear regression went from this slopage, which I think is a word, this slopage to now uh, the uh, market is trending uh, down again, but we've got an upward slope. Isn't that interesting? It doesn't change my opinion at all. It doesn't change my opinion at all. I think we've got much farther down to go. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, if I had to sell calls today on a company, remember I was so upset at McDonald's the other day. Today, I'm upset at Facebook. Why? Because Facebook has put me in Facebook jail for three days for violent comments that I made earlier today. And I want to apologize to the world. What violent comments did I say that went against Facebook policy? So my son, who's 12 years old, had his birthday in March. So we never got him a cake. We never took him out. We never did anything for his birthday. So Beth and I decided that we would sneak him out of school and we'd go check him out and take him to eat Japanese, you know, like, you know, the Benihana thing where they, you know, doing the onion and the volcano. We didn't get a volcano done today. Didn't they get a dang smiley face? Sorry, Beth. Hey, go to the other room, please. If we were in some countries, Beth, you'd be, you'd be outside tied to a camel for coming in like that. So, what was I saying? Oh, so... I posted a picture of him and his mama smiling at the Osaka Japanese restaurant, right? And said, here's what my post on Facebook said. 
hey, we kidnapped Devin today and took him out for Japanese for his birthday, which was in March. Don't judge me. Parenting is hard. So we're a little bit late right from a March birthday, September. And so I got blocked. I'm in timeout, Facebook jail. Cannot comment, cannot do anything for three days because I used the word kidnap. Unbelievable. Yeah, okay, I'm kidnapping my own child and I'm taking him. Now, if I was really kidnapping and I really wanted to torture him, where would I have taken him? I mean, I would have probably taken him to Taco Bell, for God's sakes, right? I wouldn't take him and spend, you know, $60 at, at, at Japanese, for God's sake. Unbelievable. So uh, I'm in Facebook. Too. And Beth oh, got a warning on hers because she shared my post. Unbelievable. Jeez. Calls on Facebook, y'all. Sell calls on Facebook. Crazy cunt. Okay, so let's do what we do. All right, here we go. Market's down big. We would expect to be down big as well. So let's see how big we're down today. Let's see. And we are down some. So Facebook. Stupid Facebook. Don't get on my bad side. Try Face ID again. Yes, I'm trying Face ID. Probably doesn't recognize me in my cool shirt. All right, so we are down 916 in the year of our Lord 22. We're down a good bit. We're down to 100, 639.58. So we're down $9,500, man. There won't be no Japanese next week. We won't kidnap any of our other kids. Jeez. All right, so let's go to our other account, see how bad it is. Best time will you sleep? Beth, ain't there a room in this house that needs cleaning or something? Huh? All right, so in this one, we're down to 25, 8, 90.68. So we're down a little bit there, too. Down $258 on the day. So this one, you know, hit us more than the other moves in the market. Okay, that's fine. So now let's go check our Greeks, see how we're doing there. Uh, Ken, you proud of me for being in Facebook jail? Aim for a week or 30 days. I think I've got those, too. I, you know, geez Louise. All right, so let's see what we're doing today. Let's look at our Greeks. So take our groups off. So, whoa, wow, look at our deltas now, 184.97. Ooh, this might mean something, y'all. Let's see, 184.97, Greeks and ratios. Whoa, look at this, y'all. We're going to get a red today because it says our maximum positive deltas should be 151. So if we've got, what was it, 184.85.44. 185.44. So we are at, uh oh, it turned red. That means we need a delta adjustment. So we'll see how our little spreadsheet works, our decision maker today. What's our theta? <clears throat> our theta, whoa, it is blossom. So this is telling me, I bet the VIX went up a lot more today. So the move's not so big. It must be a big change in the VIX. 197.83. 197.63, it moves, 197.63. So we're at 0 0.20. So we're fine on our theta. We're just a little bit too long. And as the market goes down, we're going to get longer and longer, right? VIX today is, VIX is 27. We've got to put a VIX in, 27. And the amount of buying power that we're using today is, $30,037. All right, $30,037. Now, okay, so everything's filled in. So we're fine on buying power, we're fine on theta, and we're just a little over on uh, Delta. All right, so everyone sees that. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean I have to panic today? Does this mean, oh no, it's over. It was a fun ride, but it's, no, no, no. It's not what that means at all. What it means is, that I don't need to put on new trades, right? I don't need new trades. Why? Well, my theta is sufficient. My buying power is sufficient. So I could put on new trades, but I'm a little too long. All right, so what does that mean? Let's go to our decision tree. Market's down today. Do I make a new opening trade? This says, no, Bobby, you don't make a new opening trade. Do I close a trade? Now, this is interesting because if you followed along from the video yesterday, you notice that we had a different message here. Yesterday, it was it said, hey, Bobby, 
do you have a 65% plus winning trade? Today, that's not the question that it's asking me. It says, hey, Tubby, do you have any profitable trade? Well, let's go say, let's go back to the it's a little thing here. Let's put it back in our groups. And it says, do you have anything possible? Do you have anything? There's plus 20%, y'all. We made $12 there. Negative 74, look at there, 34. We're up $56 on that trade. This one we took out yesterday, so let me make that note. This one, we're up $75 on it. This one, we're down, we're down, we're down, we're down, we're down. So the answer to my algo's question is, yeah, baby, I've got some, I do have a possible trade. So answer yes or no. I'm going to put a yes there. Okay. So what does it say? It says close the largest percentage winner. All right, I should, shouldn't have anything there, right? So it's telling me, here's what you do, Bob. You close the largest percentage winner. Okay. Let's go back. So largest percentage winner is 152 or 445. That's 36, right? 45 and 36. Here it is. Now, the only thing I would say is make sure the days are the same, right? The days expiration the same and all things being equal, I would close one that was closer to expiration. But we're going to take our $75 here and we're going to go to the house. We're going to take off risk. So in Thinkorswim, we have to kind of create the order for the spread first. This is a put debit spread that we put on. So we got to close the spread or create the closing order. And then very methodically, we're going to go back in and figure out the naked components we got to get. I've got to buy back three of the 3,500 puts. Three of the 3,500 puts. Let's go get them. Three of the 3,500 puts. Three of those. So we're taking off risk and taking profit. Isn't that cool? So we got to get three of those. And it looks like it's a 550 debit. Maybe we can get filled for that. Boom, 550. So we're out of the trade. So let's see, 35, 35, 35. We're out of the 11123 and for 550. 11123 for 550. 11123, 550 debit. Where are you at? 11123. Here it is for 550 debit. And that's cool. I don't have to make any decision. You just let this thing do itself. So we're out of it on 9, 16, 22. So you and I made a profit of, wasn't $75, after all the fees on both trades and everything, we come out with a $48 trade. I'm fine with that. $48. So let's make that green. Well, let's go put it in our profit count. $48.54. Green forty eight fifty four. This is the IRA profit calendar forty eight fifty four. All right, forty eight point fifty four. Let me do a little format in here. Format and format. Oh, geez, that way something. I can do better than this. You're better than this, Bobby. Let me find a place where that was actually working right. Okay, here's one. I want to go there, format painter, and go here, format painter. How about that? Yeah, that looks better. So then we'll make the whole thing green. Green. And here, I'll go equals the sum of, the sum of, the old fingers, everything on this line. And that'll be $229 we made this one. Yay. $229.55. What fun is that? Fun is, hold on, I'm sorry. I know y'all don't like seeing me doing formats. It's not really that. Ta-da! So we made $229.51 this week. Very cool. All right. So let's save that, close it. Let's go to the other camp. Now, 
kind of cool, right? Now, what if, what if my decision tree, what if I didn't have a profitable trade to close? Huh? What if I had said, no, baby, I ain't got nothing. Then it would have said, well, are you comfortable waiting and doing nothing? Hmm, my fate is okay. My buying power is okay. But my delta is a little off. You know, you could have said, uh, yeah, I'm comfortable doing nothing. Then it would have said, hey, Bob, wait and do nothing. Now, what's this? Decision tree says, if I'm, oh, I'm scared to death, I'll not be able to go to the Chuck E. Cheese tonight. Then close the smallest percentage of each other. Yeah, take a little leisure. No big deal. Because here's the cool thing on the trade, right? When you do get the new spreadsheet, this one that I'm trying out, when you get the new spreadsheet, watch what we have over here. We've got trade expectancy built in. So every trade that I take in this account has a positive expectancy of $71.85. Now, this is important for you and I to realize. You know, Captain Jones was talking about it the other day in our room. You know, it's, it's important that whatever your strategy or your system is, uh, that you have positive expectancy. Because if you're putting on trades that, you know, overall they're, you put one on and it's just expected or predicted that you're going to lose money on them, you're going to lose money. So what positive expectancy, what expectancy takes is it takes the average winning trade times your win rate. Right? So I've got a win rate of 96%. So it takes my average win times my win rate. And I subtract from that my average loss times my loss rate, which is 4.4%, my losing rate, times my average losing. And it comes up that each trade has, Beth, will you let that damn dog out, please? So it has a positive expectancy of $71.85. Okay. So, so far in this account, we've got a capture rate of 66% in the IRA. We're projecting profits of 10,000. We're looking at a 10% return. And I think that's from March on, right? Or whenever we started doing, yeah, March 14th when we started this. So it's, it's looking at a projected yearly return of 10%. Weekly, we should be making profits of $195. Well, we've done that and then some this week, right? We're at $200 something dollars this week. We have sold premium of almost $10,000, and you and I together have made profits of $6,500 in this account. And our average days in trade is, is 24 days. When we put on a trade, on average, we're collecting $94. And again, there's our our projected profits uh, and yeah, based on actual price. So it's really cool, right? It tells us, do we got a winning strategy? Do we got a winning system here? And so far, based on, you know, six or what is it? Yeah, you know, six months of data, we certainly do. Now, I got a tape that I was sitting here yesterday and I got on the phone with Thinkerswim and I said, something's got to be wrong. I said, look, my spreadsheet says, on these trades, I have made 6500 and something dollars. Now, this is where nobody else that you're looking at on Facebook, on wherever, you can't look at me on Facebook, on YouTube would tell you this. And, you know, I would sit here and go, man, we're up $6,500. Yes, we are on the 111. The unfortunate thing is, is I was doing a lot of other stuff too, right? Now, we have since stopped that. But I told Thinkorswim, I said, y'all, something's wrong. How can my net lick be down $1,049? Well, actually, we were down $73 yesterday. How can my net lick be down $1,000 since we started this in March 23rd? And so uh, that's when they said, uh, Mr. Gaines, do you not remember your SPX trades that you had on? And I go, oh, I was still doing those in March. They're like, yeah. There's like, do you not remember those ES trades that you had? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I had some ES trades. And then they were gently reminding me the other stuff that we had on. So I want everybody to be really, really clear because I was not clear myself. I said, how come my net lick be down, you know, $73, but I made $6,000? Well, I didn't record all those other trades. So I want y'all to, you know, full disclosure. Hell, I'm show, I show y'all everything, right? The good, the bad, the ugly. So I want y'all to know that. So that's why. I have now abandoned everything else other than this one strategy because the one strategy works phenomenally well, right? Positive expectancy, 
95% win rate, and we're going to be just doing fine plowing on in the future. And two, we've done this in a very turbulent time in the market. You look from March on, and we were doing this same trade back August of last year. This has been our number one thing, and that's why I basically said, I don't think I need anything else. Let's just track this and quit selling futures and quit doing ES and quit doing SPX spreads and quit doing butterflies and quit doing all the garbage. So make sure everybody's on the same page. We're all on the same page. I'm not hiding anything from you. Yeah, Bobby says he's up 6,500, but his account's down $1,000. Now you know why. Now you know why. Let's do the other thing. All right, so over here, let's go grab the other one. So we close the trade, right? close the trade. Let's go find our other account. That's our crimson account. And let's get our metrics in this account. So you got to take your groups off to get your groups. Make sure you're beta weighting your SPY. So our SPY is 46.38. All right, so we'll go in here and we'll go groups and ratios, 46.38. On my delta, I should be a maximum of 39. So it says, danger, danger, Will Robson. You're too long. You need some short deltas in your account. Okay. Well, let's go to our theta now. See how our theta is doing. Our theta is 44.82. Theta is a measure of risk. Theta is good. We like theta as premium sellers, but it also is a measure of risk. So our theta is very low. We could be up to 0.25%, but we're at 0.17. So one bad, one good. We know that the VIX is 27 today, and our buying power, let's see, buying power is, buying power is 53.29. So buying power is just fine, just peachy, just great. I mean, I look at this account and I go, can I go to sleep over the weekend? Yeah. So let's go to the decision tree. Decision tree, is market up, down, or flat? It is down. So it tells me, hey, Tubbs, you do not make an opening trade today. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No. Now, if my deltas, what's this? What if my deltas were 35 and everything was green? Then I come over here and it would say, yeah, make an opening trade. But my deltas are not. So it's telling me, don't make an opening trade. <laughs> Love it. If y'all don't love this, y'all missing something. What is wrong with y'all? All right. Now, do I close a trade? What well, says, uh, hey, Tubbs, do you have any profitable trade? Well, let's go. Hey, you fat spam hat, glass wearing, nine toe, Elk John loving son of a gun. 59, 30. I ain't played no Elk John in a while. Y'all, we ain't got a winner on the bird. There is not a winner at all. Right? Okay. So I got to go back to my little decision trade. Okay, do you, let me take this off. It says, uh, do you have a profitable trade? No, I don't. So it asks me now, it goes into the psychology of trade. Hey, Bob, are you comfortable waiting and doing nothing? Yeah, man, I'm good. Why? Well, my buying power's good. My beta's good. It's just my delta's out back a little bit. So it tells me, wait and do nothing. How much simpler can this crap get? Boom, you're done. So you're working at the factory. Can you go to the bathroom for five minutes with your phone? And you say, well, wait a minute, Bobby. I ain't got all this uh, this fancy spreadsheet there at the, during the factory. Well, get you a little calculator because it's really easy to come up with. You need to know. Here's the only number if you need to know. Uh, what's my deal? So you could write this down the night before. That's not going to change for it. So when you're at home on your spreadsheet, that could be no more than 39. So when you open it on your phone, it shows that you're 46. You go, oh, I'm a little heavy. And you can calculate this, right? Take this divided by your net leg. If it's more than 0 0.0025, then you're too, you got too much faith. If you're following my metrics. And then, you know, take your buying power used, divided by your uh, account size, your net leg figure out how much you know buying power you use. And we know that it's been 35% forever, right? 35, 35, 35, 35. So it's cool. It, it tells us everything that we need to know. Let me do one little commercial before I let you go. Don't forget this. Monday at Monday at one o'clock Eastern, 
For all Hello Ladies and Muscadine Mafia premium members, we've got a really cool session called Growing Your Network, Simple wow. Steps, Amazing Results. So we'll be talking about things like assets and we'll be talking about uh, debt and net worth and growing and protecting your net worth. We'll talk about the three steps of, of, of wealth. We'll be talking about a lot of things for over an hour. So it'll be good. And we like hearing people's uh, opinions on different things too. So we'll talk about being growing your net worth. Right? Hope everybody's net worth is growing. Just because one little account's down a thousand dollars doesn't mean uh, growing your own. Your leaves look funny. Oh my oh my leaves look funny. Let me see. I mean, my leaves look funny. Oh, those little leaves look funny. No, that was growing out of the gold. Isn't that cool? So, uh, growing your net worth. So, y'all join us on Monday for that at one o'clock. It'll be right after our regular session. So, you go, how do I get in there? Well, join our Discord, which is in the comments or in the description of this video, and then go to premium memberships. And you can either do Hello Ladies or Muscadine Mafia uh, to be a part of that session. All right, any questions? Any comments over ever anything? Isn't this cool? Mechanicalization, mechanicalization, mechanical, whatever. We've taken a strategy that has 96% win rate and a positive expectancy, and we've mechanized it. We have made it very, very mechanical. So that you ain't gonna make a lot of decisions. We didn't look at the other count, though, but let's say this one. Let's look at the weekly premium on it. <laughs> Over here, 62% uh, win rate, right? We're projected at about a 20% annual return. Our weekly profit should be around 100 bucks. We have sold $6,115 worth of premium, and we've made profits of $38.45. Where does that come from? That comes from here. Where we add up all these little profitable trades, right? 37.63 plus, we've got some profits here. So it takes those into account too. So that's all those profits up. And you can just see green are profitable trades. Everybody check. Everybody check. We're scrolling up. We're scrolling up. Little bitty profits, little bitty. Pro uh oh, we lost $6. We lost $1. Wang. Green, 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 green. Oh, Wang. We lost $300. Wang. Grab me a river. We lost five hundred twenty-three dollars. Wang, that's it. That's what this. That's what. That's what this does. All right. So we're averaging twenty days in trade. When we put on a trade, we're collecting about sixty-three dollars in premium. Uh, again, our win rate in this account is ninety-three percent with a trade expectancy because it trades about half the size of the other account. Right. Trade expectancy in this account. For every trade we put on, we have a positive expectancy of making $42. Anyone got any questions or comments? I hope y'all have a fabuloso weekend, and I will see y'all Monday.